Why do traditional British windows open outwards? When you grow up in an environment, you tend to take everyday things for granted. We've all discovered this when we travelled abroad for the first time. For example, I grew up in Britain, and at that time, you ate. If you ate in a restaurant, you paid after you had eaten, while if you ate in a pub or cafe, you paid before. Sinks in bathrooms had separate hot and cold taps, so when you washed and rinsed your hands, you had the bleak choice of scalding them or freezing them. As a young lad in the UK, I took these things and many other aspects of life for granted. I hadn't imagined there was another way of doing things. So, what about why windows in traditional British houses open outwards? And why is this a problem? I first thought about this when a friend of my mother, who was from Switzerland, mentioned the inconvenience of cleaning upstairs windows. She was quite indignant about it, and when I thought about it, I could see her point. As you can see, with casement windows, you need to be an acrobat with a death wish to clean the outside upstairs windows. In the UK, about 70% of houses are on two or more floors. So how do people clean the upstairs windows? You can see here in my house in Italy that the windows open inwards, which means you can clean on both sides, whatever floor you're on. People who live in two-storey houses of the traditional type in Britain have three options. One, don't clean the windows. Two, climb up a ladder from the outside. Or three, pay a window cleaner. When I was growing up, my family chose the third option. This was when Mr Phillips entered our lives. Mr Phillips had a window cleaning round that included our village, and he would turn up once a month on his motorbike with his ladders and buckets strapped to the sidecar. I obviously don't have a photo of him or his bike. This photo of a toy model is the best that Google could come up with, but it shows that at one time, this was a common arrangement. Anyway, Mr. Phillips had a problem. He was frightened of heights. Imagine that, a window cleaner who was frightened of heights. I remember as a boy watching him gingerly climbing up the ladder to wash the upstairs windows with a bucket and chamois leather in one hand. He seemed to have his eyes closed and he was constantly muttering to himself. Or was he praying? Whatever it was, when he finally reached the top, he would quickly wave the chamois in the general direction of the window, rearranging the dirt, and go back down. He was much more thorough with the downstairs windows. My mother constantly complained about him, but didn't have the heart to replace him with another window cleaner. It seems that window cleaning was not his career choice. Rather, window cleaning had been thrust upon him when he inherited the round from his uncle and didn't have many other job prospects. The result was that every morning, when I looked out of my bedroom window, the weather appeared cloudy. I had to open the window to see what it was really like. In fact, it was often cloudy. So why do traditional British windows open outwards? Here are the main reasons given. 1. Historical influence. Outward opening window design might have historical roots. Many older buildings in the UK were constructed with casement windows which open outwards. This design was popular in medieval and early modern architecture and might have influenced the construction of newer buildings over the time. Mm. You notice I don't talk about sash windows because but really they've kind of died out because it's very difficult to make them draft proof. Number two, weather conditions. Outward opening windows can have an advantage in areas with a lot of rain, such as the UK, as they can help prevent rain from entering the window when the window is open. Inward opening windows could potentially allow rainwater to flow into the room, leading to water damage and other issues. This is only true of this type of window, really. Number three, ventilation. Outward opening windows can provide better ventilation, especially when there's limited space indoors, or when you don't want to obstruct the interior with an open window. Number four, aesthetics and design preferences. Architectural styles and design preferences can vary, 
and some homeowners or architects might simply prefer the look and functionality of outward opening windows. After all, the architects don't have to clean the windows. Five, space. If your windows open inwards, they take up space in the room. In some periods, houses were deliberately built with small rooms to reduce heating costs, and so space was at a premium. So these are the main reasons given. Personally, I reckon it's probably a combination of all of these things. People are creatures of habit, and if something's always been done in a way, most people don't see any reason to change it, or they haven't thought about changing it. Or the act of changing these things is either too much trouble or too expensive. I have noticed that in recent years, more and more bathroom sinks in the UK have mixer taps, for example, instead of separate taps, saving future generations from the choice between boiled or frozen hands. Personally, if I was planning to buy a two-storey house in Britain today, I would certainly want one with the windows opening inwards. And I don't think I'm alone in this. Builders and estate agents, take note. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click the like buttons. And if you haven't done so already, click the subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll be notified. That's what notification is all about, about future episodes. Um, and why not share it with your friends? Bye for now.